Psalms 32 and 8. It says, I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with mine eye. I won't say Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, by Shumri Kakodash, that my honor to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, and salutation to the Akrams that's pushing the truth and sincerity. And Lord willing that this video be edifying and in truth, man. I write to the true listeners, man. Uh, more so to the elect, man, and those that believe, man, on the words of the, the, the elect men that the Most High have set up, man. All right, and this video is going to basically be pertaining to that, man. Let thine eyes guide thee, man. All right, so, all right, and we know there's a physical eye and there's a spiritual eye, all right? Whereas men of the Lord are people understanding that there's a balance to everything, all right? So, the physical eye, the eye that you actually look out, you see, you know, it cry, get hair in it, whatever, man. All right, but there's also a spiritual eye. Which goes into your your spirit, man. All right, uh, your 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 makeup, your genetic makeup, who you are, your heart, your life, man. All right, and Lord willing, through this video, I'll be able to distinguish between the two, where people may get a um more spiritual understanding and the outlook that is not just everything physical, but is man is is more of that which is spiritual than physical, man. But we do know in Corinthians that Paul say how big is that which is first physical. <laughs> Then spiritual, because why? We're on earth, where it's physical is first, all right? But we know that you must do all things spiritual because spiritual men judge all things spiritual, all right? And we're going to get into it, man, all right? So I'm going to read that again in Psalms 38, 32 and 8, Salakin. I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with mine eye. Because if you just uh, look to your own well, to your going, own well goings in life, uh, just following your own eye, whatever you see or you see right, then you're going to lead your way self into destruction, man. Because the scriptures tell you that there's a way that seem it right to a man, all right? That he see in his eye, that he think is right. Because the eye is the equivalent with your thoughts, man, all right? <clears throat> but but the ways thereof is debt, but the paths thereof is debt in Proverbs, man, all right? Now, let me get, like I said, let me get going. I want to touch on a few things, all right, uh, involving this eye thing, man, all right? This Revelation 3 and 18, and it reads, it's a lock -in. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich, and white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. And anoint thine eyes with eye self that thou mayest see. All right? To anoint your eyes with eye self is to basically be renewed in your mind, your pineal gland. All right? That's keeping your eye single. All right? Okay? That's, that's, that's walking in the ways of the Lord, uh, holding the steps of the Lord, man, and not looking back. Okay? Forbearing to... to Go back into thy old ways, but putting on a new man, all right? Because the scriptures tell you that our old man perish day by day, and a new and our inward man is renewed day by day, all right? And it says the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. Yeah, the the, the shame of you, uh, uh, it says my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, all right? So, it, it uh, lack of knowledge is a shameful thing, man, okay. It's a shameful thing. So that's what makes it shame. But when you cloth with, with the with the word and with the oil, all right, it, 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 it brings about a what? A shine to you. That's why you get tried in the fire that you what? That your, your garments may be clean and stay clean, man. All right? That you may be beautified in the end, man. The perfection of beauty going into Lamentation 2 and 15, man. That's what we're supposed to be on this side. A perfection of beauty in the eyes and the sight of the nations. With the gov with the um the, the law statutes and commandments as our government that we're carrying on our shoulders in the sight of the nations, man. To show that we're a reflection in the offspring of, of, of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, man. All right. So it says, and anoint thine eyes with eyes self that thou may see, that the Lord may guide thy paths. All right. This uh Matthew 13 and 16. It says, but blessed are your eyes for they see 
and your ears for they hear. All right. Now let's go into this, man. All right. So let's see. And of course, we know to be blessed is to be well off, man. All right. I'm going to go into this word. We're going to go into these words, eyes and ears, okay? There's eyes. Strong's G, 3788, Ophthalmos. Ophthalmos. Okay, we got the eye. This the metaphor. The eyes of the mind. The faculty of knowing, which is the spirit, man. Okay? Which is the spirit, man. It says the eyes of the mind, the faculty of knowing. Your mind goes back to your lab, which is your heart, man. Okay? And out of your heart comes all the issues of life. All right? Happiness, sadness, of uh, uh, misdirection, misunderstanding, understanding. Okay? Everything comes out of it. All right? It's your vision. All right? It's your eyesight. It's your eye self, man. All right? It's the way you move and you uh use discretion in life with man all right is your decision making process all right it all your heart can also be a a a, a burden to you man okay if you let it weigh up on you man all right all right because out of out of out of the heart or the <laughs> is the abundance of all things man all right that's why I say be in Sirach 37, I think that's 13, it says, Let the counsel of thy own heart stand, for there is no man more faithful to thee unto it, man. All right? So you ought to get single-minded, man, and understand that it's one way of marching in this truth, man, or knowing which direction you're going into life, man. All right? You got a, you got a, a, a list of things in your life you got to do, but the number one list should be that, that you're allowing the most high to uh, guide your steps, man. All right, and direct your paths, man. And that's the eyes. So I'm gonna get the ears. All right. Remember, for blessed are your eyes, for they see. And your ears. I'm gonna get ears now. All right. Strong's G thirty-seven seventy-five. Oos, oos. All right, because the ear and the eyes are synonymous with one another, man. All right, you use your eyes to see and your ears to hear. There's almost nothing more important than it in life, man. It says the ear, a metaphor, the faculty of perceiving with the mind. All right, this is how you train up your mind through what? The hearing of the word. It says, how can a young man cleanse his way? All right, well, whither should a young man clear, cleanse his way? By what? The hearing of the word. With the mind, the faculty of understanding and knowing, all right? That's why they're synonymous one, with one another, all right? When you hear the spiritual words of the Most High, you must um, bound them in your heart, man, all right? That they may walk, that they may walk and live with thee, man, and establish you, all right? This is how you establish yourself in the truth, in Yahweh by Hashem all right? How you ground yourself with fertilization to basically stay righteous, man, and upright. All right, it's the spiritual food to the ground. All right, if you planting, uh, uh, you trying to plant fruit that it may be fruitful, you must what? You must hear this word, and then you go what? You grow thereby, man. All right, you plant it in good soil. All right, and then you what? You grow, man. All right, you learn and you grow. All right. Let me go like a sound key rambling. Got a few precepts I want to grab. So your ears and your eyes is what perceive and understand and know. All right. Now, you know, you know, because it tell you in um, Lamentation 4 and 16, for we have watched and looked after people that could not save us. All right. So we know what ways and not to go. Uh, the scriptures tell us that, man. Lamentation 4 and 17, it says, as for us, our eyes as yet failed us for our vain help. Because why? We're looking into the ways of wickedness. We're looking into the ways that's, that's fulfilling to the to the to the lust of the flesh, all right? So it's going to fail us for our vain help, man, all right? And our watching, we are watched for a nation that could not save us, right? Because why? We're going into the ways that's uh, adverse to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, all right? But with that eye self, that eye self teach you to stay away from danger, man, all right? 
Hey, the other nations are danger to us, man. They are endangerment, man. All right? They are imprisonment. They are, oppre they are oppressors to us. All right? It's just all the ways they're they not a remedy of good, man. All right? They're a remedy of wickedness. <laughs> so like it, man. So we must know what ways to, uh, to go in, man. So like it. Matter of fact, this is how we ought to move in the truth, man. Is Ecclesiastes 11 and 9, it says, Rejoice, O young men, in thy youth, and let thy heart cheer thee in the days of thy youth, and your strength, your youth, is equivalent with strength, all right? And walk in the ways of thine heart, you see? And in the sight of thine eyes. Did I not read in Psalms, I believe that's 32 and 8, man, that I would guide thee with mine eye? All right, walking in the ways of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, establishing yourself. But no doubt for all these things, God will bring them to judgment. So when you look after a nation that can't save you or going to custom and vain ways, the most high going to judge you, man. All right, be prepared for it, man. Hey, the most high will judge you, man. All right, he's going to render to every man according to his deeds, man. All right, this Ecclesiastes 2 and 10. It says, and whatsoever mine eyes desire, I kept not from them. All right, this uh, this Solomon basically saying like once he got the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the Most High, what he did with it. I withheld not my heart from any joy, for my heart rejoiced in all my labor, and this is my portion of all my labor. And that's what you're going to get judged off, man. All right? Whatsoever your, your eyes desire... All right, which is your learning curve or your knowledge or your wisdom, man. Keep not from the people. Teach the people, all right? And ultimately, teach yourself. Because there's one that, that teaches others. There's one that is wise and teaching many, and yet is unprofitable to himself, all right? So you got to know how to how to um, balance that, all right? With wisdom and knowledge, man, okay? Hey, because a lot of these people teach it for vain glory and strife, man, all right? And especially these other nations. What the other nations do? All right. It tell you in Isaiah 9 and 16, for the leaders of this people cause them to err, and they that are led of them are destroyed, man. Because they're not led of that eye self, man. That true eye self, which is Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shah. All right. All right. They haven't bound themselves to the volume of the book, which is which is of Yahweh Shah, man. Okay. So your ways is going to be perverse, man. All right. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be to die on. You, you going about the, um, uh, basically to, to, um, let me get it. It's a logger. I don't want to um, paraphrase it. It's Romans 10 and three. It says for they being ignorant of God's righteousness, meaning what his, his, that his eyes shall what lead thee his ways. All right. For they've been ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness in their own eyes, following their own steps, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God, man. Okay? So, hey, they just off, man. And when you do that, you're going to grope in the dark. All right? You're going to be groping in the dark, man. Matter of fact, let me get that. Isaiah 59 and, and 9. It says, Therefore, as judgment fall from us, Neither do his just, justice overtake us. We wait for light, but behold obscurity. For brightness, but we walk in darkness. You see what I'm saying? Let me get that word obscurity real quick. But we behold obscurity. Right. Let me get that real quick. <laughs> Strong's age, 2822. Choshech. Choshech. Come, man. It's obscurity. It says darkness, obscurity, darkness, a secret place. All right. Uh, when you go to the Strong's definition, it says the dark, hence darkness. Figur figuratively, misery. See, Th that's misery goes into the word hell. That's what the word hell means. Destruction, debt, ignorance, lack of knowledge. And that's why we're destroyed for we have gone into captivity because my people have had no knowledge. Sorrow. Wickedness, darkness, night, obscurity, man. All right, that's why we kept it in a low valley and a low place. All right, because of our ignorance, man. Our lacking of knowledge, man. 
Okay? But like I said, there's a way. They that um, go out of the way from understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead, man. And that's the life of our people, just dead out here, man. All right? Our people is dead and gone, man. All right? For what? The love of the world, man. All right? This first John 2 and 15, it says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not him, is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes, as I've been saying, let thine eyes guide thee. All right? With that spiritual eye self. All right? The eyes of the Lord. Okay? It says, and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but it's of the world, man. All right? And we know that the, the world passes away and the lust thereof, man. All right? So like I said, man, it's a way to walk, man. It's a way to look and it's a way to see. It's a way to see and it's a way to perceive. All right? All right? And that way is the only way. And the only way is that way is, is the Bible, man. All right? And that which, um, keep that which is in it, man. Proverbs 4 and 25. It says, let thine eyes look right on. All right? Your mind, your life, and your actual eye, man. And let thine eyelids look straight before thee. All right? To guide thee, to correct you, man. And not to let, and that's spiritual because your eyes have eyelids to protect you. Meaning what? When the wind is blowing, all right, uh, uh. Which goes into what? Confusion. All right. Wind goes into destruction. You are to what? Close your eyes that that destruction or that wind or that confusion or that dust blow not in your eye, man. Because, hey, when you get uh, dust in your eye, man, you get uh, confused. All right. You get uh, discombobulated. All right. You get um, off track, off set. All right. All right. So let your misunderstandings be um, converted into uh, understanding. Knowing that, look, this is dust, confusion. This is not the way of the most high, man. All right? Letting your discretion be, be your uh, guide, guidance. All right? It says, let thine eyes look right on and let thine eyelids look straight before thee. It says, ponder the path of thy feet and let all thy ways be established, man. Okay? So this is how ponder the path of thy feet. Meaning what? Walk in the ways of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh man. All right? You know something? Let me get this. It's a rock. I think 16 and 2. It's a login. Because it says, uh, the mo you ponder it, uh, the hearts, but the most high on, um, it's a lock. I don't want, I don't want to paraphrase it, man. Let me see something. I think it's this. It's a login. Yeah, right. This Proverbs 5 and 21, it says, For the ways of man are before the eyes of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, and he pondereth all his goings, man. All right? So, hey, your eyes is connected to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, man. Your eyes and your ears, your sight, all right? It should be connected to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah and disconnected from the world, man. All right? The ways that lead unto death, man. But with that, I can my hope it was edifying. Until the next time, I'm going to say Shalom.